Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today, we will be drinking Modite by Unibrow in Chambly, Quebec, Canada. It is the Legend of the Flying Canoe. It is owned by Sleeman Brewery in the in the final end. Um, it is. A strong ale on Lees, 8% alcohol, bottle refermented. It is a Belgium style ale. Uh, where's the English start? Here we go. Lemadite is a tribute to our hardy ancestors who created the legend of the flying canoe. As the story goes, these thirsty woodsmen made a pact with Satan. I'm going to stop right there. The last beer was about Satan, too, so I'm going with Quebecers like Satan. Okay, I'm just joking. Continuing. To fly them to their in their canoe to the distant festivities, in time to get their fill of that damn fine ale. We were traveling so fast that we passed Montreal and area before we could stop, but we still made it to the party in no time flat. Canoeing down La Blanche could never prepare us for this. Joe the cook, the flying canoe. It's another one of those beers with foil. Uh, usually the cap has a U for the Unibrow on it. For those of you that don't know and just figure it's going to be a blank cap, it has the Unibrow cap. Just puts the foil on it to make it look more amazing and special. Uh, I hate foil. I wouldn't have noticed that if I didn't rip it off myself one day. I have the left goblet out, mostly because it was the first goblet I could find on my cup shelf. I love beers from Belgium, and I love beers that copy beers from Belgium. That is, well, the deepest amber you can get, but it's also brown. I mean, it's the mix of the two. It is opaque. You can't see through it. it has some nice head on there. The head isn't fading that quickly. It's got some good viscosity. It's clean to the side of the glass. It actually looks really nice in the glass. I mean, that's a nice goblet of beer. just what you expect from a Belgium style. It has all the Belgium scents. It has the fruit. It has the super sweetness. It has the yeast. It has the malt. It has the hops. It has all of it. The sweet fruitiness is the first thing. The yeast comes next. The yeast actually almost reminds me of my days of being the dough master at Pizza Hut. And really I want to go and get a job at most fast food places just to have those job description titles on my on my resume. Dough master, uh, sandwich artist, customer care specialist. <laughs> I just think it's funny and I don't mind working in those places so I've thought about it but I'm quite happy where I am. Alrighty. So the smell is really nice. Uh, the color is astounding. The head is still there. What's it taste like? That's a really good tasting beer. Uh, it reminds me of the Penil Sour I just did recently, a few weeks back, but only because of its beautiful taste with its sour sensation. Soft, smooth, balanced. Uh, it starts off nice and sweet, very fruity. You get the hints of plum, you get the hints of 
your dark red fruits. Once it crosses your tongue and goes down your throat, you still have that sensation of plum. You get a yeasty sensation that starts rising up there, and you get this slightly sour sensation. Uh, I'm not saying extremely sour, but you know, yeast sour, not mouth puckering, but just sour. But it mixes so nicely with the rest of it. That sourness doesn't last too long. At an 8% alcohol beer, there's really no alcohol burn. Uh, it's just really well balanced. That's a nice sipping beer. But because there's no alcohol burn, because the flavors are pronounced, but not in your face pronounced, you could chug it if you really wanted to. Um, Personally, I'm not going to. I'm going to go watch another movie, and I'll probably sit there and sip this as I'm watching it. Anyway, sell them in Ontario. Uh, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. I really like it. It is worthy of the A-. Uh, I would probably give it an A+, plus, truthfully, but I can't get a cup. No. Uh, it, it is A-worthy. It is... If you can't get a good Belgian beer, and you are looking for the Belgian style, this is a good beer to go with, so go with it. Thank you for watching the Albino Rhino Beer Review. The Irish is coming out of me. I'm trying to fight it, guys. I'm trying. Oh, it's too late. Bye.